do you think of people who are very rich? Uh, I think rich people treat poor people badly. Why? How? How? Because they think you are rich, so they don't really know what it's like to be poor. How much pocket money do you have in school? Your parents give you? In school, four dollars. Wow. If you have the most expensive things, you are the most popular also. Okay. What kind of expensive things? Smeager pencil case, smeager bag, whatever, something like that. Because they're quite expensive. They're just very nice looking, and you can show them off. When I was a kid, playground politics was about who was faster, stronger, or better at football. But now. It's more about pocket money and pencil boxes and other things that reflect how rich or poor you are. Have you feel other rich people will treat poor people badly? Yeah. <laughs> what have you seen them do? These people. My father says I have, to become, I have to be a dentist or a doctor because he says within a month I can get more than a thousand dollars. My father usually tells me that I have to like work harder in my exam or else I will I will become those like garbage truck <laughs> person who drives the garbage truck and those cleaners on streets. How would you describe the expectations that your parents have of you? I am better at the humanities. So for a period of time my mom was quite adamant about me pursuing law. They expect me to just like pass. He doesn't expect my very high grades or what. At least an A. They would just ask me to at least pass all my subjects and improve a little bit more. What are the expectations you place upon yourself? At uni, I want to study um, either political science or maybe law. And after that, I want to pursue maybe a career in the foreign affairs. Maybe study IT and get a good certificate and get a good job. I hope that I can at least get into NUS, but if I find myself having the opportunity to go overseas, I would definitely take that. My expectation is just to pass all my subjects because I've been failing since set one. For the things that I'm good at, minimally A is for all of them, and A2 would be considered disappointing, I guess. It's probably obvious by this point which educational track each child is in. Beyond the expectations, I want to know how much they interact with students from a different stream. I don't really hang out with people that are from express in my school because most of the people in my express streams they look down on us and they think that we are quite stupid. <laughs> yeah. So they so seldom talk to us as well. The kind of activities that like my school may expose to me outside of school generally tend to be quite populated by the higher express streams or like IP streams rather than like um, lower streams like NA and NT. For me to make friends with people from NA and NT or like normal like neighborhood schools requires a lot more effort from me. How about yourself? I have friends from the express team but I don't usually uh, hang out with them because for my school like the express like tend to see themselves like very good characteristic like that in the school. So they tend to see us like we are nothing. They behave badly to you? Just ignore us. Is it just because they are in Express and you are NT, or is it something else? Or what? Maybe they don't like us. Because we don't behave the same as, as them. Like, they are very quiet and neat in school. Mm. Not like us, like we usually create chaos. Yeah. There's this girl particularly. She just said, uh, like, you are from normal academic, you are stupid. She said that. When I just entered Set 1, and slowly I start to become very quiet. Um, in school, I, was, like, I don't really like to talk. Do you try to make friends or you think it's not worth it or no interest or what? Some, some express, yeah, I try. But then sometimes I cannot because the way they speak and the way I speak very different. Uh. Their English like, like power. <laughs> <laughs> My English teacher. <laughs> yeah, when they go down, I feel angry. Uh. What kind of behaviour do they show that makes you angry? They really, usually like, roll their eyes at us sometimes. So if we just put all of you all in the same class, do you think that would work 
help. Maybe uh, if they teach us. I think so. Uh. Yeah. But then if they are willing to teach us, uh, yeah. I help us. I like, you know I'm very slow. Yeah, then like I scared that they won't teach me or I don't. I personally feel that a mixed class suggestion may not be very viable in terms of like closing the gap. It might even increase the gap if these students feel like they can't cope, so they just give up completely. Is this conversation uncomfortable? Do you see, sir? Because like, the way they talk and the way we talk, man, like, very different. Very different. Awkward, right? Yeah, why is it awkward? You know, the way they speak and the way I speak, like, different. Then I feel like... Like they are high class and we... Yeah. I think the reality is that's what they face every day. We want to remove ourselves from situations where we feel embarrassed or awkward. And maybe that's one of the reasons why it's so difficult for kids of different backgrounds to interact regularly all the time and develop deep friendships.